Hi everyone, it's Brenda Quintana and I'm bringing you a recording today because I am flying out to Canada to see my mom. So hello to all of you and I'm going to be um, back with my regular lies for Casing Tuesday on the 28th of September. So I'm so glad that you're joining me to stamp um, today. It's Casing Tuesday and that's the day when we take a card out of the catalog and we give it a makeover. And if you're not familiar with it, um, we also have a Facebook group for that. You can find the link to our Facebook group below. Um, there you can share your own card based on uh, today's challenge card and we always have people joining in. So I hope you will join us. If you want to lurk, that's absolutely fine fine or comment on our post we love to read your comments so um, please uh, if you haven't already done that go ahead and check it out so today's card um, is I'm gonna pull it up right here here is today's card it's got a fairly simple layout and uh, we always create a sketch out of the card this um, card is on page 65 of the mini catalog and here is the sketch for it. So if you're new, if you have trouble with measurements, I would suggest cutting out all these layers with computer paper and then kind of plug in the stamp sets that you already have in those layers or maybe add some paper. So I'm gonna share just in a second the card that I made. I'm going to um, switch uh, cameras and switch over here. All right, and here is the card that I made. The um, original card had um, was kind of like this in, um, I guess it's uh, portrait mode, and I flipped the card to landscape mode, and that's totally fine. Sometimes we need to switch the layers around to make our stamps work. And I really love this new bundle. When it caught my eye in the catalog, I thought this is really cool and different. So let me just show you what this bundle is. This is called the Time of Giving Bundle. And it has these cool little rectangles. And here's the one that I used with the snowflakes. But it also has this darling little um, Santa with reindeer. We've got one with ornaments hanging. And this one here is with pumpkins. And these are the coordinating stamps that go with the bundle. So for instance, this die right here will cut out those leaves so you can use that for fall. And uh, so it's kind of a neat um, little bundle. So I'll be using that today when I make my card. I'm also using the Time Worn Type embossing folder. And um, there is a um, snowflake embossing folder in the annual catalog, but it's been on back order, so I don't actually have it. So when I was looking at embossing folders I could use in place, I decided to use this time-worn type. And it actually kind of reminds me of snow, maybe not snowflakes, but snow. So I think it worked out perfectly, even though I don't have a snowflake embossing folder to use on here. All right, let's get started and I'll show you how I made this card. Probably the most important element is this piece right here. So let me grab my die cutting machine and roll this out right here. And we're gonna need the dies. And sometimes with these intricate dies, I like to take a balled up piece of wax paper. You might have some of this in your kitchen. And I just like to rub it over my die. I'm going to be using that little snowflake and this die. And that just helps the um, die release from the cardstock. So I cut a little piece of misty moonlight cardstock. Let me give you the exact measurements. It is two inches by three and five eighths inches. So I'm just going to plop this on here and I'm going to center it. I've got my base plate number one. I've got my thin die adapter plate number two. Then I have a cutting plate which is labeled as number three. 
make sure this is straight. And I am going to run it through just a little bit crooked because when you run it through with a corner rather than a straight edge, it doesn't make that awful um, clunky noise. So just remember that if you have straight uh, dies, you can go ahead and just, um, okay, I rocked that. So let me straighten it out. Give me a second. Okay, so I'm going to put this down on here. Ah, it shifted it again. Okay, there we go. I just need to place it down gently, and because of the way it's uh, lined up, it kind of uh, rocked a bit. And this could be due, like sometimes when you run through a die, pull this off. Um, sometimes when you run through a die, it will warp slightly and have a slight curve to it. And you can just gently bend it back a little bit. So what happened with my die was it was, it was teetering a bit. And so when I hit this end, it was shifting. So um, you could always just kind of slightly bend it back. Don't really do, do it really hard, but just a little bit will help it get back into shape. And then we've got this die that comes out and see these things are pretty nicely releasing from here. If you've got a few extra pieces, I, I usually just pop those out. Um, you can um, also get that die brush and do that. But when I just have a few pieces like that, I'll just poke them out with a, a pointy object, a thumbtack or my uh, pierced tool. So we'll set that aside and, oh shoot. I lost my little credit card that was sitting aside there. I usually have a little uh, leftover hotel key or credit card or old uh, key and I, I use that to kind of shove the stuff off into the garbage can because um, I don't want those in the way for my next die cutting. So shove that over there. And then I'm going to grab some more Misty Moonlight cardstock. And this time I'm going to cut two snowflakes. I have to cut them one at a time because I only have one snowflake. This time I don't have to be careful about where the die is sitting because it's going to be fine right there. Look, I need to... Oh, where did my snowflake go? Oh, there it is. It hid underneath. So there's snowflake number one. And then we just need one more. Let me poke out these little guys right here. And then we'll just run this through one more time. And I ran back and forth, but this really only needs one um, pass through. Sometimes I find it easier just to go in and then back out rather than go all the way through. After a while, you just kind of get into a preference for things. Okay, there's my second die. Uh, we also need to emboss that this piece right here. So while we have the embossing machine, let me grab that. This is a piece of five and a half by four and a quarter. And I'm going to need my thick um, my thick uh, cutting plate for my thick um, embossing folder. So this is the way you set this one up. We're going to get rid of the two number three cutting plates. We're going to get rid of the number two thin die adapter. And we're down now to the base platform. And since my card is going this way and there are some really light words, I'm going to put it in this way and put that down. This is the Time Worm Type Embossing Folder. Put my number four plate on top and then we're gonna run this through and hopefully this will look lovely, like a little snowy, yes, look at that. That looks great, it, it reminds me of snow. Maybe not, uh, maybe you wouldn't think that, but I think it does. And I, I just love the texture on that. And it's new in the holiday catalog. So 
All right, let me pop this over here. And I've got a card base, and this one measures eight and a half by five and a half. And I scored it in half at the four and a quarter inch mark. Then I can just use my bone folder to smooth down that fold. We'll take my layer right here and just add it right here. I can see this embossing folder working for a lot of different cards because it's very neutral. You can't really read what is written. So it's not, um, I can see like hello and I can see never, I can see no, um, but it's, it's a, just a very neutral sort of background. Okay, so let's assemble the rest of this card. We've got this beautiful frame right here. And what I did is I cut a piece of basic white just a little bit smaller than um, the Misty Moonlight piece, okay? And I'm just gonna line that up and place it down here. Grab my Misty Moonlight ink pad. Grab the stamp, this is the Mary stamp from that stamp set. And I'm going to ink this up gently and then line it up at the bottom right here and then just stamp and there's my little Mary and even if you're a little bit crooked you can straighten it out and I noticed that this is overhanging a little bit so what I'm going to do is just take my little scissors just angle this down just a bit right and now when I go to glue this on I'm gonna glue it so my Mary's actually straight so that's a nice little tip helping you to get your little words straight so to glue this these two pieces together I'll just go right close to the inside of my frame because some of my it's um, the white isn't going to extend all the way to the outer part of the frame and then just come in here and line this up. Might be easier if I pick it up. Turn it just a little bit. Okay. And I see I might need to trim just a wee little bit of white off right there. Okay, so isn't that looking merry? If you don't like Misty Moonlight as a color, this would look really nice in red as well, right? You could change this out uh, to whatever color that you like. And then I'm just going to take this, put some Tombow around the edge. And I'm going to adhere this probably, I would say, about half an inch in from the left side and centered from top to bottom. Make sure the card opens in the correct direction. Okay, press that down. Perfect. Let's get the ink pad out of the way before I stick my fingers in it. There's very little stamping on this one. It's a lot of embossing. All right, and then I'm just going to add these snowflakes, one dot here, just kind of put it right here, and one right there, okay, and I need to go find my rhinestone jewels, they have disappeared into here. This is what you normally, it normally comes in a package like this and it's full right to the edge. So you probably have a full package here somewhere. <laughs> These are what the rhinestone jewels normally look like after, uh, before they have been uh, pilfered. <laughs> um, let me see, I'm going to use some of these smaller rhinestones here. Put these ones away and I'll just pick them up and just add them. 
they're just uh, just a teeny weeny bit of sparkle to my project and normally I add them in threes this time I'm gonna do four don't tell anyone all right and then I'm gonna pop those back in there I tied a little bow with this um, simply elegant trim and I'll just need one little mini glue dot and what I'll do is I'm gonna make a mini glue dot blob because this is um, normally with with regular Baker's twine I just use Tombow glue to glue them on but whenever you have something that's shiny and silvery metallics don't like to, they they don't like the wet glue um, so I'm gonna make a little glue blob and I'll just put the glued blob right over here where I'm gonna attach my bow so I kind of made a glue dot into a glue blob I'm gonna take my little silver trim and then press that down into there to finish off the card so that is all there is to my card and I really love this die set because it makes it so easy to create kind of an interesting focal point right here and then just by taking that little snowflake and adding two more snowflakes it kind of just makes it all make sense so I hope you like that card let me switch back over to my main camera. I'm sorry I don't get to chat to, with you today, but I wanted to make sure you know that you can get all the supplies I talked about today over on my blog. You'll just need to click down below in the description of this video, click on over to my blog and there's a complete supply list. And if you have any questions, please email me. I may be up in Canada right now, but I am still connected via social media. So I am still reachable. I will definitely have some downtime um, where I'll be doing all of that. Um, and if you place an order with me, if it's at least $15, you'll get to choose one of my free with purchase tutorials. And then if you spend at least $50, where did my snowflakes go? Um, this month's, um, we're now into September, and this month's um, host code gift are these beautiful, you can uh, probably can't see, but they've got like a, almost like a pearlescent shine to them. They're called the Wonderful Snowflakes. Oh, you can probably see the pearlescent um, in that better. And I pulled one out so you could see um, they are, let me just measure them for you. They are a really nice size. Um, they are not quite three inches um, across here. So um, so it's quite a nice size snowflake. So that will be my host code gift for the month. Um, if you use my special host code, and let me show you what my special host code is. Here it is. There's my special host code. Please use that when placing an order. If your order is over $150 though, please don't use the host code because then you can collect your own Stampin' Rewards and I will still send you the tutorial and the host code gift. All right, um, and right now, we're still in celebration all the way up until September 30th. For every $50 or $100 you spend, you're going to get a to choose a free celebration product from Stampin' Up! And um, you'll be able to do that right at the checkout point. And it's such a great time to get your holiday catalogs products right now um, going into the holiday season because um, it's... Uh, there's still time to get everything and make everything. You'll have time to get your Halloween things if you're going to make little Halloween 3Ds. You'll have time to get Thanksgiving stuff and Christmas stuff. September is a great time and Stampin' Up! is going to reward you with those um, celebration rewards. So really think about that. 
All right, guys, I'm so glad that uh, you're watching this tutorial. I'm sorry I'm not live, but I will be back at the end of September. I'll be recording a uh, video for each um, week that I'm gone. I'll also um, be doing a video on Fridays. It will also be recorded. I just can't take all my stuff up with me. It would just be too hard. So um, watch for the recording that I'll have for you on Friday as well. Have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.